We're ending our top of video. Let's go! Alright guys, I think from the thumbnail and the title you will know what this video is about. Um, let's get right into it. Don't we? We! One more! One more! We are gonna do week one of predicting the winner and the loser of all 32 team of the NFL, yeah, 2019, 2020 season, here we go, let's go, let's go. Alright guys, let's get right into this, so. Um, I missed one day, we did it with last night, but, um, alright guys, before we get into the madness of NFL team and the winning and losing of week one, if you die on new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification to be notified when I post the awesome adventure video, the prediction video, the challenges, the blue blog, you know. Maybe a bus club video, I don't know, who knows? A lot of travel videos, that's for sure, in the future. Give the video a big thumb up if you're excited to see NFL, or even college math, because yes, yesterday's video was college, but if you're excited to see some NFL football action after uh, seven months? Eight months? Seven? This? I don't know, something like that. Something, somewhere in between now. So this is video, big thumb up, and you're excited to have NFL football action back! Then I know I am. So, and comment down below, what is your favorite NFL team? There's only 32 of them, so... It's not like Tali with the... I want to say over... I want to say that's like... There's a lot of Tali teams. So it's not like that, they're only till 32. So with that being said, let's get into what I thought before. Back into it. So, I missed one game. One game was last night, Thursday night. And that was between the Wien Bay Pastor and the Chicago Bell. And I guess people wanted the Chicago Bell to win. Which, honestly, after looking at the highlight of that game, they should have won. Oh, it was a really, really good game to watch that yeah, last night because, man, though, both of those teams fought it out. Chicago Bale have a good defense. Green Bay Pastor have a good offense. Oh, the, you know, it just, it was a low, let me just tell you, it was a low scoring game for sure. It was only 10 to 3. So that means both of them throw the field goal and then one team throw the touchdown. That's it. That's all that happened. So, that was last night. The Green Bay Pastor came on top, unfortunately, but that's what you do. You have Aaron Rodgers, that's expected. But, going into Sunday, a full day of football, we're starting out with all the one o'clock games, which are um, Bill, and they will be at the New York set. So they be in New York City or New Jersey because it's Tiffany in New Jersey, but they call it in New York yet. Yeah, I don't know. Um, for that thing, Buffalo gonna win. I'm sorry. Our defense, our offensive line. We have a great, we got a great team. So 
We're definitely gonna win that thing. That no doubt though. Buffalo. Let's go! Woo! Alright, the next one, we got the Tennessee Titan and the Cleveland Brown. Now, last year, Cleveland Brown shot America completely. They shot America. They started their season and they tied with the Pittsburgh Steelers in week one. Pittsburgh Steelers, they tied with Pittsburgh Steelers. And they're both in the same division and they tied last year. And they did really good last year. I want to say they ended up with seven wins. I don't know, something like that. Better than what they normally do, let's just say it. Um, so, with that in mind and how well they did on the off season, I don't know. That's going to be a good game to watch. It's, what would the Brown do? Can they take down Tennessee Titan or take them not? I don't know. I am. I. The thing that Cleveland Brown would be minus 5.5 point off of Tennessee. That's what the extra thing is. I'm, I'm going for a really good game that game. That's going to be a tight game. That's going to come down to the wire. Unless Brown just don't show up. But looking what they've done, I'm pretty sure they will show up. The next one are Baltimore Ravens and Miami Dolphins. So, I don't like the Dolphins. They're in the same division as Bills. So, Baltimore Ravens, you got my pick. Baltimore Ravens going to win that one. The next one, we got Minnesota Vikings. And then we got Matt Lyon from the Falcons. Let's see. Um, I kind of want to see the Falcons take down the Vikings. Just because they have a better quarterback situation than the Vikings. The Vikings quarterback situation is not that good. But they're around the quarterback is better. But they don't have a quarterback. So that could hurt them in the long run. The next one is the Eagles. And the red thing. Now, coming to this one, um, I kind of want to see Washington Red thing take down the Eagle in my profession. I don't like the Eagle, so it just makes sense for the red thing to take it down. So I'm done with red thing. Alright, the last one we got the Los Angeles Ram and the Carolina Panther. Alright, for this bit the uh, game, I would like to see. I like Cam Newton. I love what he's done. I I just say I'm a fan of Cam Newton, even though I'm a Bill fan. But like, I like his attitude. I like his leadership. Cam Newton is 100% a great guy. But if I had to pick a winner for the game, I have to go with the Los Angeles Rams. They just been showing America that they are strong and that they deserve to win. Alright, so the next one, we got the Kansas City Chiefs and the Shaftonville Shad Royal. This is, again, going to be a good game, but I have half of my home, so the Kansas City Chiefs totally back on my fantasy lead. So I kind of want Kansas City Chiefs to win. And they done phenomenal last year, they done phenomenal the year before that, so I'm thinking the Chiefs are going to win. Pat Mahomes is probably one of the top quarterbacks in the lead. I'm sorry to all those Patriot fans that think Tom Brady to top, but no, I, I think he's Pat Mahomes. He's definitely going to do amazing. He's going to even probably pass Tom Brady. Tom Brady is just, uh, um, what the word I'm looking for. And I don't know. I. Tom Brady something out. I just don't like that guy. He's not a good leader. Like, he's just not. Pat Mahomes is well. It is. He's a leader. He can prove himself. He's done phenomenal his first two years in NFL. And he's just going to throw off the board this year. So, Pat Mahomes is definitely top quarterback in the NFL. And they're going to win on Sunday. The next one we got... The Indianapolis Colts and the Chargers. Now this one is going to be a, a no-brainer. I'm sorry, but the Colts lost their franchise quarterback. He retired recently, so they don't have a really good quarterback. 
they're doing a bath though right now. And the Shardu are just so good, they're just gonna destroy their bath up toilet bath. So I'm giving a win to the Shardu and the defense. They're just gonna go out and just take it. Alright, the next name is uh, Cincinnati Banjo in the Seattle Seahawks. Now you got Andy Dawson going up and down Russell Wilson. The defense with the Bando defense is pretty dirty. We all know that. If you thought that Bando versus Seattle game is dirty. Um, and then you got the Seattle defense, which that that a mean defense right there. So I think that this is gonna be a very good game to pay attention to if you have if you don't like football at all. Pay, pay attention to this game because it's gonna be a good one. Then we got the New York Giants and the Cowboys. I'm personally me. I think Yeet Elliott and Dak Prescott is just gonna go off on Sunday and just prove the lead that they are still a top running back and a top quarterback. So I think the Cowboys are gonna beat the Giants. But Giant running back falsely is gonna go out there and they're just gonna. He's gonna probably. Gonna, the whole Giant game plan is probably gonna be a running play. I guarantee it. The next one we got Ariana Tarno and the Fort Lion. Now, this one I like this game a lot. Um, only because the Fort is an average team. They're not that good. They have a good franchise toilet bear. Ariana Tarno got Tyler Murray in the first round pick. So, and Tyler Murray is a hell of a player. Not as good as two of we all know, but good. So, I'm thinking Ariana could win this one, and Tyler Murray is gonna probably show what he can do. He's gonna go out there and he's just gonna show it. And then we got the 49ers and the Buccaneers. Um, so we got Jimmy Waffalo and Jameson Winton. Jameson Winton is not doing the best over the years. He kind of downplayed from his first round pick in two years ago. So I'm thinking he's probably going to show America that he can still be up there. And beat 49ers. But I think that's going to be a good game too. The next one in the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New England Patriots Sunday night to start off Sunday night football. Um, I absolutely, absolutely hate the Patriots. So I want Big Ben and I want James Tunnel, I want the Pittsburgh Steelers to go out there Sunday night, play their hardest and beat, but beat the Patriots and get them out of here. Like, I would want the Steelers Patriots to like just knock Tom Brady down all night long because I hate Patriots. They need to end. Their, de their destiny is done with. The over out. All right, the next one is the Houston Texans and the Saint Louis Saint New Orleans. I almost said Louis. I I don't know what I'm thinking about, but New Orleans and the Tuston. I think this is going to be a good game, but also the Saints have been showing a promised land that they can go back to your championship. So I'm going to say Drew Breed and um, Alan Tamari, I think in the, yeah. The one back is just going to go out there and just own it. Alright, the next one is going to be the Denver Broncos. And the Oakland Raiders, or the Los Angeles Raiders, whatever they are now. Probably Los Angeles Raiders. Um, Los Angeles Raiders is not doing that fast. Ever since the new head coach, I'm sorry, but I think the head coach is out of here. Um, so, with that being said, I think Broncos going to win. And this is a Monday night game, Oakland versus Broncos, or Raiders versus Broncos, and... I don't know, Raiders not looking that good. They're, they've been trading so many of the good players away last season, so I don't know what they're trying to do. So, Bronto is going to probably win Monday night. The first Monday night game, I think Bronto is going to win. Alright guys, with that being said, that's week one of NFL. 
a lot of good damage we done, a lot of potential to see what you do out there and just own it. Um, like Ed Oliver, Tyle Murray, you know, all these players. So just stay tuned for that and give the video a big thumb up if you like it. And with that being said, let's end this video with some random dancing. But before we do that, let's just say, um, find your magic moment, people. Believe in yourself, and you are worth it. Now with all that, remember those two things. I want you guys to say those things every single the morning you wake up. Believe in yourself, find your magic moment, enjoy the little thing in life, and you are worth it. Say those four things every single day because it will help you get out of bed, it will help you get motivated, it will help you just get up and do something each day. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and let's end it on a good note called Random Dancing.